we defy that storm, right guys? Swing that weapon. You can see here, right? You see on this, this chart of the clock principle, right? We have 12, 6, 3, and 9, which is like front, back, and sides. And then we have these 45 degree angles. And you see up here in the corners, it says zone of sanctuary. We also have them back here. We also have obscure zones. So we're gonna, we're gonna do defying the storm, which is for this. Somebody swings a club at your head, right, which is zone one in a roundhouse fashion. What we're going to do is if we just stand right here, we get hit. We're gonna get inside of it. So if we do still make contact with the weapon, it's not this part where all the, where all the speed is. Now this is an important thing to understand. He has that weapon in his hand. And I see that he has the weapon. I can't get away from this person. I'm trapped. Or if I try to run, you'll just chase me down. Maybe, maybe that is a sharp weapon. And if I try to run from you, you can do as much damage to me as if I fought you. So we're going, we're going in. Put it that way. We're going in. So I, I just see he's holding the weapon. I can't move away, so I'm gonna move a little bit closer. Not close enough to get hit with the hands, but, cl but closer. And see, there's an angle to my body. And I'm, and I'm talking, and I'm trying to... Now, do, so he cocks, see, that's when we go. When they bring that weapon up, right? so he brings, so you bring the weapon up. So he brings the weapon up, and he swings roundhouse. Now, a person that knows sticks or weapons leads with the end of the weapon, right? Catch it with the upside. But if you don't know that, chances are your swing might be thumbed down like this or somewhere in there, right? Kind of like a tennis, like a forehand. Right. So we're going to do this off of a, like a, a, yeah, a, a, a better grip. So he has the weapon, and when he's swinging it, we're going to go in. So the first defense is here, and the second one is here. But when he goes to do the stick, we're going to go in, and we're going to get him before he goes forward. See, so he cocks the weapon. We go right in, and then you get the chin. And we get the chin, he goes back, we get a hold of the neck, and anchor the elbow. Now I want to drive him down. So I'm going to first get my weight in my legs, and then I'm gonna pull with my legs. See, I'm pulling with my back leg to get his weight on his toes. And I'm gonna grab the back of his jacket with this hand. He has a jacket on, let's use it. Put an anchored elbow. So pull here, and when you get your weight to about here, step back and push your hand down like this. So you're locked all the way down like that. See, that's, that's control, isn't it? That's control. It's like their face is in the ground. They don't have their legs under them. They can't really hit you with any kind of power. And we have the weapon in a pretty decent control position, correct? Right? So he throws a strike and we go up and then we defy that storm. Right guys, swing that weapon. We're gonna defy the storm. We're gonna hit here and here. So we're gonna hit him in the shoulder joint with the elbow. We're not gonna passively block with the wrist. This has to be strong. So when you hit, they go back. See, they lose their balance. Elbow and grab. Get a good handful, anchor your elbow. And if you have to, move in. Then pull with your legs. Do whatever you have to do to get control of the opponent. Don't try to anchor your elbow from here. They start. Step in and then use your legs. All right, face run. We see a weapon, it's in their hand. We're gonna go right in. We're gonna go to 12 and this arm's gonna to shoot to that corner and this arm is gonna go with it. So we have this kind of an outward momentum and an inward momentum. If you wanted to learn this by the book, you would go like this. See that? That would line you up, wouldn't it? But we just want to do it. We're going to raise the hands, shoot them across. Now let's do that with some authority. Drive, drive that arm. Step it, drive. Now here, lift your elbow, right? Strike. Reach out, 
hook the back of the neck, grab the back of their jacket. Now we want to anchor the elbow. Now, if you're having a hard time with distance, move in and anchor the elbow. Now put your weight in your left leg, start to pull. Step and push your right hand down. And when you get to here, there you go. So you just go right over. So you have a good brace here. Now exactly where your legs are is gonna depend on what you need to do. But bring them around and get their head, push their head down into the floor. And keep this arm tight against your body and very separated from theirs. All right, let's see what happens. 